once again in the backyard not to make a little bracket to you put on the tripod so I can run some satellite experiments and uh, just going to take a piece of board any any old piece of board this happens to be some I don't know, 3 8 ply, plywood just going to make a uh, bracket to put the Just about that amount of time. What I'll do is I'll make some holes in this, and uh, then I can mount my antenna at say a 45 degree angle on the uh, uh, tripod to more easily track satellites passing over my QTH here in San Jose. I've got this. Uh U-Goal to mount things with. I'm going to put it on the side of this so I can mark the location of the holes that I'm going to drill. One there and one there. Sorry if you can't see this. But uh, anyway, there's a couple of marks on there. Now uh, what we're going to do is to drill a hole like this all the way through. I had to I'd readjust this a little bit to get it all the way through. I chose a size here that's big enough to easily let this pass as you can see. So we uh, drill that side. side and uh, see if this thing fits in there okay fits good so that's done so I've uh, selected a, a bolt that will go through that and this uh, this unit and I'm going to uh, place that there for the moment uh, make sure this is big enough to uh, clear that hole, uh, the bolt, when it goes through the hole. Swap out the uh, old bit here. Put in the new bit. Put my fingers down there to see when it gets small enough to put in the bit. So there's the bit just down here for the moment. I'm going to make two holes fairly far down here. Doesn't really matter how far apart they are, but I'm going to make them a, about uh, three inches apart. And uh, that should do the job for us. Then I will make a decision here. I think I'm going to have the angle about like this, which uh, should, co should cover from here down here and here up to there, almost what we need for an overhead pass. So we'll uh, first uh, drill that hole. Turn this off, put the bolt through so we get the same angle and everything on the other hole. So uh, stick this through there, put this somewhere convenient, put that through like that, and uh, I'm going to make this a little less than 45 degrees. Probably on an overhead pass, we won't have a big problem with that. Okay, so there's the other hole. Now this is going to be fixed, uh, fixed here in one angle, like this. But we're going to uh, be able to rotate the antenna because I'm going to grind off part of this so it's a little sloppy in the antenna side so I can rotate the antenna by hand if I want to change the polarization. Uh, I'll show you that in a, in a minute. Now you'll notice that I have um, 
ground some of this off here. That's so that uh, when it slips into the piece like this, it's on the uh, elk antenna. It will be a little loose in there so I can turn it. I've got ground it down about the amount that it uh, fits inside of here. And perhaps you can see that. Um, so that uh, I can take the antenna itself and rotate it as I need for polarization. Um, probably doesn't need much polarization change typically, but uh, that's what I've done anyways. So now we have uh, something that's going to sit on the top like this, the antenna sticking up, and uh, we'll be able to rotate it to match the polarization of the satellite. You'll notice it's vertically polarized now, but I can rotate this and make it horizontal or anywhere in between. I can rotate it, of course, very easily. This is just sitting here. It's not tightened down with the uh, thing here at all. And uh, if it was windy, I could tighten this down to have some... Uh, take some effort to turn this in the wind. So there's a, a fairly simple way to get a semi as L. <laughs> Uh, azimuth and elevation rotor for uh, field day, whatever, to work a satellite. And uh, we should be able to see things near the horizon all the way up to probably 60, 70 degrees, which should be good. And when it's directly overhead, probably you'll get enough signal anyway because it's closer to you.